This is what curly hair looks like after the shower. Let's see if we can turn this into some beautiful curls. I'm gonna start with detangling first. I like to use some of this Garnier stuff for detangling because the texture of it is like really, really slippery and it's almost like a lubricating thing for my hair. So now that it's combed out, I'm gonna split it in the middle like this for the same curl. Right, so now that the hair is split in the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and start sectioning. I like to section right here first, and I'll put all this to the side, and just let it sit there while I work with the other side first, and start. Um, this is about the way the sections look. Right, so now this is separated, I'm going to just clip this part up and now I'm going to start adding my favorite product, it's Curl Up by KMS. Just up this much. So this is about how much I put on all the sections, like every little section that I distribute it around like this with my fingers. And now I'm starting to separate these pieces like this with my fingers. Grabbing my brush and I'm gonna twist them. Twisting them, I uh, call these my custom curls because I am twisting every single one into place. I'm not actually able to see them really good in the camera. Hope you guys can see them well. Alright, so there we go. Um, unclip, we get another section. I like to uh, start my sections right here in my part in the back. And I'm just kind of judge them by, by hand, by eyeballing them, I guess. I'm not trying to be like scientific here. I'm assuming it's about a one inch section. Here it is. And another one, and another one. I'm actually about out of this. Be careful, make sure I have enough to last me this whole styling. I'm just distributing it through the hair. Okay, this my fingers. A little comb. And starting up again with the tiny little sections right here on the ends. And I'm gonna slow it down for you a little bit. I just twist the brush like this and I usually twist them all away from my face uh, just kind of like the way you would curl your hair with a curling iron you would twist your curls away from your face well at least around the face that's a technique that people use a lot twisting away from the face so that's what I do and all the curls face away from my face I'm going to speed it up for the rest of this section. And there's another section finished. Unclip. And do all this again. I am actually going to get a microphone. I could not find it this time. I know the echo is kind of aggravating. And again. Tiny sections, you're grabbing these sections like this, you're twisting away still, grab the other piece, give me a little glass for you and check in the mirror. There it is. You can even like have other little clips to keep things away from your face. I literally need to buy clips so bad. It's actually so cool. The clips for Christmas. I'm pretty sure people are thinking I'm joking. Okay, twist, twist, twist. And I'm going to speed up the rest of this. This is the very top layer on this side. 
and um, I like to be a little bit more precise with the curls when I'm doing the top layer because obviously they're going to be the money makers on top, most visible and you want those to be like nice and perfect just the, the right way, like shaped and placed in the right position because everything else underneath could look a little messy but those top curls they're going to cover it all up and also even though I split my bangs in the, in the middle, I do my part in the middle when I style my hair I don't leave it like that when it's dry all the time I usually just leave it like that until it's completely dry and then I split it slightly off center unless I'm having like a wild bang instead of splitting in the center I would love to be able to wear the split in the center like super sexy for a long hair but my hair for some reason I don't know gets past this length. This is about the length it gets and then it does not grow anymore. I'm just thinking about getting some extensions. I'm not gonna do it yet. Just doing research. So this is how um, I style the prompt like this. Now this section is completely ready. It's finished. <laughs> right, let's do the other side. Um, for the other side, I'm going to repeat the same exact steps that I did here, obviously. I'm going to speed it up. It is all styled and curled up with the brush. Now what I do at this point is I hit it with the uh, blow dryer for a little bit with a diffuser. And then I let it completely air dry after that for a And that's it. Um, comment, share, like, subscribe. If you like my content, uh, I'll be glad to share my technique with everybody. I'll be glad to answer any questions. There will be more videos on the subject and I'm going to be revealing more of the things that I do to make my hair look beautiful all the time. But for now, this is it. Be the boss of your curls.